So in this case, we are going to quickly consider a question that we are given. In the diagram below, triangle PQR is right angled at Q, meaning to say we are dealing or we are working with a right angled triangle, which is at point Q, where we have got a point of, where we've got an angle of 90 degrees there. It is given that PR is 34 centimeters. The length from P to R is given. And the tan of angle P is 5 over 8. We have got that. Where angle P is an element of 0 to 90. From 0 to 90 degrees, angle P. Remember, uh, I say this, guys, on our introduction working with the right angle triangle definitely if this angle is 90 degrees the remaining two angles they are supposed to add up to 90 degrees so meaning to say these remaining angles they are in between zero and they are in between they cannot be zero degrees cannot be 90 can be any angle but in between what uh, zero and what and 90 degrees that is the concept that you're given there so do not worry about that so they said on question number one determine the length of qr from q to r this length we are supposed to determine this length without solving for the angle p do not solve for angle p but find the length of QR. So the question is, how is that possible? We are supposed to find this side. Yet, there is no angle that we are given. They said, don't solve this angle. So meaning to say, they want us to use the trigonometric ratio representing that angle since we are not solving the angle. Therefore, let's go back to where the angle was used. The angle was used before on which ratio? On the ratio of a turn, as we can see from that information. From turn that we are given P, which is turn of angle P, is equal to 15 over 8. Let's use that because they don't want us to solve for that angle. In the mere sense or in the basic understanding of that turn, what does it represent? That is the question. We do understand from our Soka Toa. Let's go back to our Soka Toa. The turn of an angle is opposite over adjacent. That is from our Soka Toa. The turn of a given angle, right? the turn of any given angle. In this case, we're talking of, of which turn? The turn of angle P according to angle P. The turn of angle P is equal to opposite over the adjacent according to this ratio. So what is the opposite? Let's go back to our diagram. According to P, this is our opposite, which is what? QR, the one that we need here. As you can see, it's involved. There is there. What about the adjacent? According to this, this is our adjacent, which is PQ. This is our side of PQ representing the adjacent. This is what we are given, representing the adjacent. So if the turn of angle P is given as 15 over 8, which is opposite over adjacent, it simply tells us we have that one here from this side. Opposite over what? Adjacent. Just like what we can see here. So meaning to say our opposite. If there was a given side, let's say one of these sides is given the adjacent, you use it as a ratio, but this one, nothing is given here. So it means... As it is our opposite, as it is according to P, as it is our opposite is what? It's represented by 15. So that becomes our QR. 
as it is, our adjacent is represented by what? Represented by 8. So it means this is our adjacent 8 centimeters. But the question is, if we were to use our Pythagoras theorem now and simplify this 8 squared, the shorter side, plus 15 squared, the shorter sides, were we going to have this one as 34? No. It is now something that we must consider according to this because the square root of that answer that we are given is 17. Not 34. This side here is supposed to be 17 centimeters. But here it's 34. So you go back now. Because there was no ratio, remember guys? There was no ratio before. But they gave her that side. It is supposed to be 34. So you must ask yourself, what happened? From 17 to 34, what happened? I was having 17. But now it's 34. Let's see. 17 times 2. You can see that is the 34. So meaning to say each and every side of our answer that we are given for us to have the exact solution must be multiplied by 2. From this, this was the exact triangle that we are supposed to have this one. But as we can see, uh, that is P, this is our Q, and this is our R. But as we can see, originally on this given side, it is what? 34 instead of 17. So what does it mean? It simply means every part was being multiplied by 2. From 17 to get this 34, we multiply by 2. To get this 34 as we can see it originally on the diagram. So it means, guys, our QR cannot be 15 because 15 is what exactly we see from the ratio. But from the understanding of this part, we cannot say it will be 15. It must be like 17 times 2 to give us 34. So 15 times 2 will give us what? It means that's 30 centimeters. So this is 30 centimeters. Where 8 centimeters was times 2, this is what? 16 centimeters. They wanted uh, to, to, to play around with us on this type of a question. Uh, which is uh, basically it can be like that. It can be like that. So you need to understand this is solving. Solving. Understand. Analyze the question as well. Do not end from the understanding of the ratio. Analyze your diagram as well. So if we can have 16 and 30, that can make sense from our triangle because Pythagoras theorem is going to be uh, 30 squared plus 16 squared, which is the square root of our answer is what 34, as we can see the 34. So it means these are the corresponding sides. So therefore, our QR was going to be what? Our QR was going to be 30 centimeters without solving, without solving for this. Our length, of QR was 30 centimeters. This is what they wanted you to do. You must be very careful there. Then on the other hand, determine the length of QR by first solving for angle P. If we are to solve for angle P, what is going to be the length of Q by first solving? So guys, the other one was without solving. This one, they want us to solve for the angle P, all right? So you saw that without solving for angle P, there were some complications. You adjust the question according to the diagram. But when you are to solve for this angle P, that is something which can be easier now for us to deal with, all right? So we're going to go back to this part that we had before. Uh, unfortunately, this one, we're not going to need this part. So let's get rid of this one. All right. So this is what we had. But they said we must determine QR this time by first solving for P. First, find angle P. First, we must find angle P. Solving for P. How do you solve for an angle, remember a ratio as it is given. 
it represents an angle. The turn of angle P is equal to 15 over 8. The turn of angle, angle here, this one is the angle, this one. So the question is, we need to determine that angle now by solving for angle P first. So how do we solve? The angle P can be determined from actan to get rid of the tan to this side. We cannot divide by tan on its own, divide by tan. It's, we cannot do that. But we can write the tan on the other hand as actan. So we can remove that by introducing actan like this. So actan, both sides. So introducing actan cancels that actan and the tan, these two. They do cancel. So you remain with what? With angle P. So angle P is equal to ac like this. Ac, ac, tan, ac, tan, ac, cos, ac, sine. So these are the words that you're going to use. So ac, tan is simply from our calculator shift. You can see it on top there of tan. There's a tan raised to a negative one. So it's shift. You press the turn button. So that is actan uh, 15 over 8. By doing this, you are finding the angle now. So this is what you're going to have 61,92. So this one, it is because the angle is the angle that we are given here. This is exactly what we have. But the moment we round off this answer, it affects our final answers at the end. So I'm just going to write as a rounded off value, but as we are using our calculator, we are going to use this one. So our angle is 61,93 uh, to two decimal places. It's going to be 61,93 uh, degrees. So that's, it, it was actually, there are so many values that we are given there uh, before rounding off. Before rounding off, it was actually 61,927, and so on and so on. This is what we had. So the question is now, is we have got the angle now here. We, we have got this angle. Because the question said, by first solving. So we had to solve first. We had to solve for P. But what is it that we want? We want to determine the length of QR. Now that we have got this angle here, how can we solve for QR? We can solve it according to the triangle as we can see it, guys. To say, according to this angle P, the QR that we want to calculate, what is that you are given? QR represents what? According. To P as our reference. Because well, that is our angle. This is our opposite. What we are given. From the 90 degrees, this is our hypotenuse. So you are given the hypotenuse. You want to find the opposite. Which ratio are you going to use from that Sokatoa now? Now you ask yourself this question. Which ratio am I going to use? Where there is hypotenuse and opposite at the same time. What you are being asked and what you are given. Don't worry about this third side. There's nothing that you want there. Focus on what you want and what you're given. So the ratio that has got these two is this one for a sign. Where opposite and hypotenuse are. So therefore from this ratio, the sign of angle P that we are given must be equivalent to the opposite, which is our opposite is what? Is the QR over the hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, which is PR. So that's the sign of that angle as it is uh, 
Right. So in this case, I'm just going to use that one that the executive value 61,27 and so on and so on is equal to what? QR, the side that we want. So that is QR like this over what? PR, our hypotenuse, which is 34. So this was going to give us uh, the value of QR from this ratio, guys. We can even cross multiply, but this is the same as over one. So we can cross multiply. So that is it. One times QR, that is uh, QR is equal to 34 is going to multiply the sine of that angle that you are given. So that is going to be 34, the sine of this angle, uh, 61,927, so on and so on. So that was going to give us the value of QR from this idea by solving for the angle first. Uh, so it's going to be 34 times the sine of that angle, the answer that we had as it is. I just want us to use the exact value. Yes, you can use uh, 61,93, the rounded off value is fine. But as for me, I want to use the exact value. So as you can see, it was going to give us what? exactly 30 because we used the exact answer there so our answer was going to give us 30 which is what 30 centimeters according to what we are given before so that's it these are the questions that is how we can answer these questions so under an exam they are simply telling you to say this question can be answered in so many ways it is in your hands unless you are given an instruction like what we had on these two questions without solving for the angle or they can give you an instruction by first solving for that angle. So as an individual, it is best that you do understand both ways. Both ways. So let us do uh, as many questions as we can. Uh, as we are preparing ourselves uh, for the exams which are ahead of time.